Hi everyone, uh, I'm a data scientist on the Shared Rights team, and I'll be talking about arrive by time to destination feature today. Specifically, I'll be focusing on the prototyping phase and also speaking a little to the testing and validation stage before any takes it on. Um, hands up, who here uses Uberpool on a regular basis? Great. So for those of you who don't, uh, shout out some reasons why you don't. Okay. So we know that one of the biggest pain points around Uberpool is the uncertainty around what time you arrive at your destination. And because that's the uncertainty around, you know, how much traffic that is just like for UberX, right? And also the uncertainty around whether you get matched to fellow riders. And ultimately, you are getting from point A to point B, and you want to know, will I reach my destination in time? So our solution is the Uberpool arrive by time to destination feature, where we tell you the time that you will arrive at your destination before you even start requesting. So this feature is in itself a um, data product, a time prediction model. So we started off just building a really basic linear regression model with very few features, such as information about how long it takes for the right driver to get to you, and how long it takes for you to get from where you are to your destination. So we built this, uh, train this model on recent completed Uber pool trips. We started off this way because we wanted to address the problem quickly and get it out to market fast. It's not perfect, but we want to put out something that's good for all riders and then keep iterating on it to make it better. This already gets us a huge part of the way there, even before we start using more sophisticated models such as um, gradient boosted regression trees or random forests, or even throwing in more features such as geographical features like neighborhoods that may need additional calibration city by city, or driver features like how experienced the driver is, which may require more engineering work to get in real time. Now that you have a time prediction model that works wonderfully offline, what's next? This is where bits meet atoms, and you have to consider how riders will interact with your data product. One important consideration for us here is which percentile of the time do we want to, you want to present to riders? And if we show a more conservative estimate, it's unrealistically long in most cases, but if you show something that is uh, less conservative, this leads to poor rider experience when we miss the arrive by time, so riders are unlikely to request again. This is where we run A-B tests, once we have a prototype model, so we can understand, number one, what is the impact of showing riders this additional time information? And two, how conservative of a time estimate do we want to provide? You as a rider vote with every single trip you take, and our job as a data scientist is to distill down that rider voice to making the product better. And now I'll move it, uh, hand it over to Annie, who will talk about driver destinations. 